computer-aided design software called CATIA. So on the next slide. Now the SOS system has changed, revolved in so many different other aspects besides product design. On the next slide, um, yeah, now I can control this, so go to the next slide myself. So um, the SOS system now talks about the fourth industrial revolution and really aims at 3D modeling of everything that happens in the world, really. My specialty in, is in modeling and design of uh, manufacturing systems. So I'll show a little bit of a preview of the type of software that I help design and implement at the SOS system. A quick preview on the next slide, which I will now get myself, and then to play the video, and see if it, it rings true to you. Um, we're gonna focus specifically on choice and purpose right now. Sometimes we usually make jokes about if something uh, made in China breaks, we say, oh, it's normal, it's made in China or something. So it's kind of a habit when we, he said that it's a traditional product. Because it's the influence of the very uh, influence of the whole community. Now we see nowadays that uh, in social media, um, some pages are putting bad news about Tunisia, and they make us frustrated. And we see a lot of comments: "How? How can you say that you're supposed to put a good image?" And sometimes most of these things are wrong. They make people believe that you are a bad community or something. Especially now in economics that we see that how uh, our uh, dinner is uh, coming very low and uh, they are saying that it's going to be worse in this next year and everything. It makes us really frustrated and uh, everyone starting to freak out. But I want to say that if we, every one of us, see uh, an obstacle and we try to get away, we won't succeed in everything. For example, for me as an example, I'm really afraid to talk in front of everyone up here. But uh, I said, since I'm afraid of that, I'm going to try it. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm still young, I can make mistakes. I'm not going to do it. Like not, uh, I'm going to a job and I'm going to get fired if I make this mistake, you know? So I want to tell everyone that even in my studies, I, um, I followed the science experiment. And I wanted to study computer science at the university. So a lot of people sent me, told me that, oh, you must be not good or something. It was my choice, and actually I majored in that, and I had pretty good marks. And then they were told me, ah, oh, you are good. I told them because you made bad, uh, you didn't believe in me, and I thought it's because of my background that I was be like this. But I want to take to everyone to fight. Uh, in my university, we have a major problem. We didn't uh, graduate, actually, because there is a problem between our teachers and uh, the Ministry of Education. Uh, we went to the media uh, and everything, and they told us uh, if the problem will be solved in uh, August, uh, we'll uh, get our diploma in September, but it's not, we don't know. And we went a lot of times to the Ministry to talk about this problem, which means that we as uh, students felt really deceived because we didn't feel like anyone was standing for us. We were going in the summer and in Ramadan, you know, we are fasting and everything. And uh, nobody cared. We felt really frustrated. We wanted some help. We uh, talked to a lot of media and thank God that one of our friends had someone there and we could like get this information. But uh, we want our, this is our future. A lot of people want to continue st studying and they need a diploma. So, um, I don't know, and a lot of others say, no, we, uh, the diploma is not the 
places we are doing other things and maybe we even get our diploma, it's no problem. But others want really to pursue their dream. Is it just a job? Is it just a job? Yes. Or is it mean something more? Because I uh, personally experienced the same type of joking at uh, in my own school in the US. I have friends who are boys who make jokes at lunch about how women belong in the kitchen making sandwiches. Uh, and I think that jokes can represent a culture that is hidden, that can be hidden by the joke. And so I just want to make sure that we're on the same page with that. Yeah, I, story is very important. Um, and also is community. Like, the next session is on community because, like, you were talking about how some people fight and some people don't. And we get mad at the ones who don't fight. But understanding community is understanding why some people fight for some things and some people will not. Some people are going to run headfirst into things and other people won't. And when you begin to understand that, and some people will always resist. No matter what you do, they're going to resist. And so it's really important, like, not just to understand purpose and, and why you're here, but also to understand community and, and how community responds differently. Just like me being 46 or you being 26 or 16. It's going to create community differences. But when we only look at the differences, right, then it creates separation. But there were several government officials who, who came here to address you. Now, whatever their motivation is, set aside. They came to talk to you. And, and you've got to see that as a bridge. You've got to see opportunities. What is, what is intimidating to me is a situation. They're not, because they're not educated this way. And we, we have to make them uh, believe that uh, whatever they're doing is for the best. And for, for the future of the country. That's it. I have a question for you, Kate. Yeah. So your uh, your story is so amazing. You have the, the right mindset. You know that's the mindset that you want other Tunisians to have. Sandwiches in the kitchen. Someone has told them that story. When the boy says lemons are Tunisian and they don't work, someone told that that boy that story. He didn't invent that himself. That is a storyteller. What what happens though, unfortunately, is we become uh, the word like we go to school. We 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 have institutions. Sorry for my spelling if it's wrong. I teach science, not English. Uh, institutions. We 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 go to school. We go to work, and they reinforce the stereotypes. So Rihanna was told that women are supposed to be in the kitchen making sandwiches by a friend. Joke, ha ha. Funny, no. Because here's why. In the United States, if you take the top 500 companies, of those 500 companies, how many of the CEOs in America are women? Don't answer. Oh, I got aggressive. Oh, I lost my marker. Oh, I got another one. That's okay. We'll switch to green. How many are women? Give me a number. Out of 500. Five. Five close. Six percent. Six percent. So America, right? Land of the free, home of the brave. Everybody gets equal opportunities. It's so great in America. Huh? What do you say? <laughs>